Hi, welcome to my channel, Crafty Come Lately. I totally busted my tripod that holds my camera, so I have no idea. I can't tilt it down. I have no idea if this will work, but I'm going to try and film um, a quick flip through of um, the junk journal that I just made, antique inspired, with um, a little bit of tea dye paper, some distress ink, so forth. And I did distress um, ink the seam binding, which I got from So True. It's 100 yards of Hug Snug in the natural color, and it was 10.25 um, that I when I checked yesterday. So I'll put the link below. And I used Recollection uh, Faux Leather Flower at the cover, um, a couple of Merriam Crafts metallic embellishments, some Wild Orchid Crafts that were white um, flowers that I just dyed with a brown Sharpie pen, and a couple of little dollar store glass bubbles and I hope I'm on camera, um, and um, that I just put some um, brown scrapbook paper beneath it. So that's the cover. The paper comes from the Victorian Parlor uh, Color Box Collection that I got at Tuesday morning for $2.99. I picked it up in September, but I've seen other people picking it up lately. So that's the collection there. And the spine is made with... Um, a sheet of paper that I just got by itself from Recollections. It looks like leather, but it's just totally paper. And um, that was, I have the UPC, it's a 12 by 12. Uh, UPC is 8869462321900. So that is that. And um, I'll try to do a quick flip through, um, and hopefully it'll be about 10 minutes or less. But um, just a cute little file folders. I. Uh, use, but of course it's not required at all for beginning and ending of the signatures. I just cut them down to match the design by Heidi Swap. I bought it Tuesday morning. She had a six pack of um, file folders that are really pretty and uh, it was $2.99 for six of them. I tried looking yesterday. I could not find them at all on sale anywhere. They were called memory files, but I saw a couple of others and they're, they have like these kind of styles with like different designs. So I borrowed the template, cut something similar. I made this one, but I made it a square, just a straight line edge here for one of the tabs. And the other tabs had a more curvy, let's see, this is another tab. And then there was one with a curvy middle one. So I just borrowed the concept and used the template. I haven't still used these, but they're really pretty. And they can turn, be turned inside out, so that's another way to use it, but that's for later. And um, so I um, just put a little insert here, a little tab that I use for file folder. Um, when I made the last file folder, Paper Addiction, um, paper I really enjoyed all the tabs that I had that looked like file folders, so I copied some of that in this method. This is T-Dye blank index card, simple. And I used some stamps. Um, just, and mostly with Distress Ink, and I have an old uh, vintage photo one, Distress Ink. I got the new one, but the new one is actually too juicy, so I actually liked the way the old one comes through. It looks more aged with time. And this is vellum paper sheet that came from Joann's. Uh, tea dyed, little uh, notebook paper and blank card, dictionary paper. I made some tabs and stuff just to get a little texture, not so, so much. Um, and ripped some paper out, used a little envelope there, a little, uh, this one I made, I guess, a pocket, and so it was a coffee, sorry, not a coffee dye, tea dye, everything's tea dyed. I'm going to try uh, coffee dye um, after watching a couple of tutorials. And this is a very old-fashioned scrapbook um, page that came out of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper I got at the Goodwill clearance store. It was maybe 60 cents. Um, they said because it was blank book, it didn't count as books, and they put it as houseware, so it wasn't by the weight, but it was still 60 bucks, or 60 cents, sorry. <laughs> and um, cute little, this is a white um, whitewashed uh, craft paper by coordinations that I ripped up and made two little, two pockets. And this is a cute little Daiso mulberry paper that I put on top of another paper. Give it an age distress look. Some other mulberry paper put here for texture. And um, more stationary paper from Tuesday morning pack. And these are the Daiso notebook 
um, that I took apart. Um, this is Ephemera Vintage Garden. She had some free printables. And then this is, again, that 12 by 12 scrapbook she cut up. This is um, from Crafting, uh, Miriam Crafting Supplies, her doilies. She had heart shape and regular. So I put a little tab with the heart in it to match. Uh, cute little pockets. I get lots of inspiration from you guys how to fold uh, paper over to make extra pockets everywhere. So I've totally borrowed, you know, just cute little sheets to make another pocket. Um, I've done a lot of little pockets. The up pocket, I would have never thought about that, but it just kind of tucks in and sort of stays as long as there's some adhesive there. Uh, the chevron, or not the chevron, whatever you call these, uh, I got from Rachel Jazzy Creations. Cute little pocket there. I used a handmade flower just to make another tab. I used some packaging plastic just to almost give it that transparency look and it makes the pocket. So that's cute. Um, a cute little doily that I sprayed through with gold paper. Actually, I stamped it with the Distress Ink from Tim Holtz. And I cut through on that from that paper and put it here as a pocket. More mulberry paper. Uh, cute little lunch bag folded here and made into a pocket. But I also cut it here. So it's another pocket. And more Daiso um, notebook paper. More pockets everywhere. I love that double rip look. Here's a uh, old book and of course it's distress inked and here's another um, paper that's tea dyed so it makes two separate pockets and just more pockets. Um, I made like a little file folder, little book, insert, regular envelope and a file folder. Uh, tea dyed there with a cute little ephemera, ephemera vintage garden little tag that she had uh, free printables uh, This one is just wax paper a cute little fo uh, fo You know fold double fold I played and some butterflies on here because there's butterfly here in that stationary paper another tuck spot a manila 6x9 folder opened up on the other side I also cut it up so it's open Where's the other side? So there's two, you know, two envelopes. Out of one envelope, here's the other side. And it becomes another tuck spot here, but it's also opened up here to use as a place to put fun things. I, this is a gift wrap paper, shiny, brassy. So totally adorable. Some grid paper. And that repeats itself, so I'll try to kind of rush through another Daiso paper bag. They're a little nicer, a little stiffer, but I left that as a pocket here. And then of course, lots of space up here. And more tea dye stuff, more tuck spot here in the, behind the butterfly. This is again that paper Daiso bag, but here folded into half. So there's tuck spot behind in the bag and here. So every, lots of tuck spots. Here's that old uh, 12 by 12 scrapbook paper that I picked up also made it into a library pocket here and I did try to leave things behind open so it's a double pocket lots of tuck spots and a tuck spot here so yeah lots of spaces this one I made double pockets here and then another pocket here but it's coming apart a little bit and I made uh, little tabs actually this is from Debbie yeah, from our vintage garden that's her tabs that I cut out. And a little belly band from that vellum paper. A uh, real actual deli bag from the store or wherever I bought it from. And then more stationary tags from Ephemera Vintage Garden. I'll put the link below. She has cool printables every Friday. And she has amazing um, packages and kits for sale and printables that are amazing. So I'll put her link below. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and see more of the stuff that I'm working on. Um, right this second I'm working on a black and white kind of unplanner planner because I have a cool small dollar store planner that I use with me for actual dates and times. But I thought this would be cool for like, you know, organizing my bills and and things in life and I mean everything black and white because I just love that look and this is a Daiso um, A5 notebook for $1.50 so you know really easy to find black and white things so
that's what I'm working on. Um, check back and thank you so much for watching.